Well, hello, and thank you so much for being here today with the Gypsy and the Witch. The theme for this month is Snow Dragons, and I am going to be sharing with you my project for this month's theme. And please don't forget to go check out my sister, Callie Black, the Witch. I will put her link below, and come and join us in our group, the Gypsy and the Witch. We'd love to have you there. Well, hello, all you wonderful Gypsy and Witch fans. I'm so happy that you're here today. I'm going to do this version of the theme, uh, Snow Dragons. Mine is actually going to be a kind of an elfling snow dragon girl. Uh, I want to do something a little bit different than the actual snow dragon. And I can't wait to see what my beautiful sister Callie does with this theme. I know it's going to be creative. And, um, you know, me and girls. So I thought, well, I think this, this month I'm going to do a girl. I'm going to use some things that I don't normally use. I don't think I've ever done a video using any using of Using my uh, DeWent uh, graph. They're called graph tint. And they are water um, soluble so it's they're kind they're really nice but I'm gonna I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna sharpen them up a little bit because they are a little oh well, I don't know they're not sharpening I don't know so I've not done this I've used them before they're really nice and um, I've done some pictures with them but not a face uh, I did flowers and uh, I can't remember what else. It was a couple other things I had used them for when I first got them, and then I hadn't. I usually use the these guys, the ink tents. So we're gonna mix it up a little bit. So we're gonna use both and see how it comes. Okay. So I'm gonna fast forward this, and we will play together. I hope you enjoy. I will put the list of all the colors that I use and the products that I use below in the description area. And here I'm just going in there and just kind of darkening around and just pick, I just really was picking up anything. I, I wasn't being particular about the colors that I use. The set that I have for these graphite pencils are it's just a small set I think it's only got like 12 colors in it um, maybe not even that uh, yeah probably about 12 colors and and same thing with my ink tents uh, pencils I only have about 12 colors of those so I wasn't really just I just wanted to see how it worked really and just throwing in different colors Here I'm just going over it a little bit with lightly with some uh, gesso and I'm, I'm using the watercolor uh, ground. Uh, it's, uh, I'm trying to think, what is it by? Q-O-R watercolor. And um, it's very smooth and nice and just, just doing a light coat over the face and, uh, you know, all the skin area just to kind of mute it out a little bit and then I'll go back in and add color again and I'm going back and forth between using the uh, ink tents uh, pencils and then the graphite so just that's the only colors that I'm adding in right now background area I'm just using the ink tents the indigo blue and then just a large brush and just doing that little area there of the sky or you know whatever uh -huh. 
and now I am using some acrylics and what I wanted to do with this is give it color but yet I'm going to go over it with the white acrylic and mute it down more so I really wanted it to be white but I wanted it to have some glistening of different colors in it Sometimes using that little makeup little sponge is so, um, I don't know, it's like therapeutic. I've used it quite a few times on a uh, girl's hair and I just kind of, I love doing that because it blends so nicely. And they're at the dollar store. I mean, they're those little wedges and they just really hold the paint nicely and blend. Again, I'm doing more of the graphite and just darkening around the edges, around her eyes and all that and, uh, and just add water. They work really nice. I just wanted some really, really neat colors in there against the, the light hair and then her dress and the wings, you know, so I wanted her skin tones to stand out more. Now I'm just taking the white acrylic and then just doing her little dragon wings. Uh, you're only going to see the one. And I had gone over the lines with the graphite pencil. Now that I'm adding the white over it, it, it kind of mutes it. And then the same thing with the dress. And then I'll go back in and add some more. And it, it just really comes out really nice with the white over it. Just adding some pretty gold with my gold leaf pen. It, it makes the whole painting pop.
just splattering some white acrylic now just to give the effect of snow. I hope you enjoyed this. This was fun. And it says, if you look with your heart, you will see her, the snow dragon. So I think she looks, did a little bit of snow splatter on there. I couldn't get it the way I wanted it. I would have liked a little bit more, but I'm going to stop because I don't want to ruin it. So, and I hope you enjoyed this and I hope I inspired you. And don't forget to go check out the witch. I will put her link below and I will put the link for our group below, the Gypsy and the Witch. And I thank you again so much for being here. Love you guys. Bye-bye.